In this example, we'll start with a pet store example that uses the OpenAPI 3.0 specification. Set the OpenAPI specification to the URL so the SNAP can download the specification. You can also download it ahead of time and save it to SLDB and put in the SLDB location as well. Specify the base URL, the path, and the operation. Here, we will use a POST method. Once the specification is available, the path and operation fields will auto-populate with the appropriate operations. Let's execute preview and look at the input schema suggest in the mapper. In the target schema section, we see all of the fields available with the required fields having an asterisk next to the field name. Taking a look at the input data, we can see similar fields. In the output, we can see all of the similar fields. In the second instance, let's use the ID provided in the first OpenAPI snap and read the information on that ID. Here, we will use the get method and put curly braces around the pet ID. Here, pet ID equals 8. When this is executed, it will find a pet by their ID. Execute, and we see it's properly inserted the value for Cupcake the Puppy with pet ID equals 8. In the third instance, let's find a pet by status. We will look for status available into the field status to find all the available pets in the store. Execute, and we can see all of the pets available in the store. In case you don't want to see the other header responses and want one output document for each available pet, you can go to Advanced Properties. Enable Process Array can be removed. It's normally the default, and execute again, and you'll see multiple output documents, one for each pet. You can get details about this SNAP pack by visiting the Open API SNAP page in SNAP Logic documentation. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more, please visit snaplogic.com.